It's morphin' time. That'll be the only thing I'll have that I can hear his voice personally. <coughs> I, I, I think I can't believe it. I really cannot believe when we heard this past week. Um, yes, yeah, for those that know. Um, Tom, Jason David Frank, a.k.a. Dr. Tommy Oliver, seen by many as one of, if not the greatest Power Ranger of all time in the, what's going to become 30 years of a franchise, he um, passed away. And the cause is like what... Um, he eliminated himself, basically. Um, you know, on YouTube, you can't really say certain words because then you'll get demonetized or you'll get age restricted or you'll get blocked or... But anyway. Yeah, so apparently um, the details came out like either yesterday, like a day or two ago. He... Um, got into an argument with his uh, estranged wife. They're going through a divorce. Um, they had separate hotel rooms and at one point he went trying to go to her room and they had an argument. And then like the staff had to kind of separate and let uh, JDF know that hey man it's a bit loud. And uh, He called her again, and I think at that point, that's when he, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. She was literally, like, freaking out. Not be what um, what he was going to do to her. It was more the fact of what he was going to do to himself. She called the cops and, you know, trying to make sure he was okay, but unfortunately it was too late. Um, other reports were saying that it stemmed with not only with the divorce, but also the fact, like, uh, I think not too long ago, he lost his stepdaughter. And he, I think someone said he hasn't recovered from that since. Um, to be completely honest, we all don't know what's going on in other people's minds. We would like to know. You know, I would like to know what is going on. You know, we all, it, it, it's, the world actually has like this, this, I want to say, a mask where you wear, we wear the mask in front of us like a smiley face, you know. Folks will think that, oh, everything seems fine with this person. They're, this person's happy, jolly, la 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 la. But what happens when you take that mask off? Depression, anxiety, stress, anger, sadness. Really, what we don't know. And it's so unfortunate because, again, it was just like it's in the surface. You think that person's okay, but in reality, they're not. But uh, it, it it's it's heartbreaking. It really is. Um. If I had any like superpower before any of that happened, I would have gave that man a big hug. He would try to fight me off. He would have to eliminate me. 
because I will tell him you would leave behind a huge legacy. A huge like he has a huge legacy now. Folks remember him for what he's done on the camp on camera outfits, the seasons that he dedicated himself meeting fans. I was going to meet him at some point. Me and my wife, my stepdaughter, we were all, my friends, we were all going to be like, hey, let's go and try to meet. Some of my friends already met him. Um, he lived here in Houston because um, he has a dojo in Paramount, which is like south, like the mid-south of the city. Um, I'm sure y'all can Google it, but um, there will be times when WWE will come to town, like Raw, SmackDown, or Pay-Per-View. He'll be right there on the floor watching because he was a fan. And some of my friends got to meet him. I didn't, which is unfortunate. You know, I was a big fan of his, but I think really it's just the fact that anybody with these type of feelings, there's somebody to talk to. You know, and I get it. I get it. I've suffered through depression. There are times I wanted to eliminate myself. Yeah. Wow, what a shock. But yeah, there were times I got to that point. But I did. One, as a Baptist Christian, fear of going to hell. Two... What would the world be like without me? What would all of my colleagues, my family, people that I know, what would they be? What would their world life would be like if I wasn't here today? <coughs> Excuse me. I had to really think. Would they be miserable? Would they be happier? Who knows? I cannot afford to take that risk. So I cry my eyes out. Every time I had that feeling, I just burst down and cried. Suffered a headache because when you cry a lot, you do get those little headaches. But i that's when I actually decided to go through my own journey, which I might do again. Um, basically, what I do is I take a positive quote and try to use it in everyday life. And I've been feeling a lot better since. Um, but it's not about me. It's about Jason David Frank. And I've seen reactions from former Rangers. You know, I've heard from um, TJ... I've heard from Justin, Adam, Zach, um, just many, you know, watch, watching from a lot of range. If I didn't name any, you know, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I'm not trying to offend nobody. But there were two that really, really got me. Also, say John, who played Jason Lee Scott. And Amy Jo Johnson, who played Kimberly. I couldn't even... I Kimberly, Am, Amy Jo, she posted her video on Instagram. I couldn't even finish it. I couldn't finish it. I'm going to try. I'm really going to try. But I couldn't. It was, it was so heartbreaking. Because I know they were this. They were the closest of friends. A lot of people really still think that they got married. I think a lot of people thought they got married, like, not like on the show, but I'm mean, in real life. Like, they kind of like, okay, we're going to pretend that we're married. We're going to get married, but we're going to pretend that we're not. We're going to see other people. Yeah, but we're, we're still got a thing. That's what some folks were actually thinking. And that was my first thought when I heard when I'm like, oh, no, what is Kimberly? How is she going to feel? She's just going to break down. And she did. And I'm like. If I could. I would give her the biggest hug. 
She want to break down literally a shoulder to cry on. It's right here. Literally, I'm, I'm here for any other. Big fan of hers. And I know she's heartbroken. And like I mentioned earlier, Austin St. John, he handled it well. He admitted, he's like, we're not beer drinking buddies. Of course. If anybody that knew about the history, <clears throat> dang, holiday, holiday sickness, I tell you. Anyway, yeah. They're not the ones that you're going to see, y'all. Uh, hey, how you doing? Like, they they had beef for years, but they been squashed it. Yeah, they actually have real beef with each other. Everybody that knew that knew behind the scenes of Power Rangers, they knew that. They knew. And um they didn't get along. They they had their little moments where they were gonna square up. But years ago, even Jason David Frank said in an interview, like, way, like five, six years ago, he mentioned, like, there was, there is no beef between the two of us. You know, they squashed it. They were like, listen, we're grown men. I don't see what the whole point is in all of this. Um, you know, like why why are we dealing with this? You know, we we gotta we gotta do this for the fans. For the fans. Cause you know, people will be spreading all that like Team Austin or Team Jason, you know, things like that, you know, Team JDF, Team ASJ. And it was like, why not just Team Power Rangers? So they said, you know what? I'm sure a Austin was like, you know, you're right. And so I'm sure they shook hands. Beef was squashed. Move on. I mean, they you, you see they reunited. They may not have gotten a selfie together. Which I think that's what some people would think. That's how you know the beef ended. If they got a selfies together. Nah, but they were talking to each other in the Power Rangers movie premiere. We seen it. But um, in the end, depression is real, folks. Depression is real. Anxiety is real. Stress is real. All of these is real. And um, it can be handled easier said than done. I know. But we can do it. You just got to have faith in yourself. Faith in others. Faith in the Lord, more importantly. But you definitely need faith in yourself. You Got to overcome anything that's thrown at you. If you feel you can't do it alone, get somebody. Get somebody. Talk to your, your family. Talk to your friends. The people who actually care about you. It's it's very unfortunate, and um, we're all gonna mourn. I mean, first Kevin Conroy passing really took a toll, but this one really hurt. I mean, I think honestly, I believe he was one of those. I don't know if you all thought about this. If um, certain people you would think will be the last folks living on the planet. Before anybody else pass away, like Michael Jackson and Prince, you thought they would last much longer. JDF was one of those folks. You thought he'd be the last surviving Power Ranger. No disrespect to the others. I love you all. I love you all. Wow. Rest in peace, Jason David Frank. I'm showering. I'm praying for all his family, his close friends, and to all you fans. I pray. I'm not even just going to say it. I'm about to do it right now. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. Thank you for putting food in my stomach, roof over my head, and clothes on my back. 
dear Lord, shower some blessings upon the families, colleagues, and fans of the one of Jason David Frank, who just recently deleted himself. We're all we're all f mourning right now, or please guide us through, guide us through, and get us over this hump. Our Heavenly Father, we do bless your name in Jesus' name, Amen. If you feel like you have no one to talk to, there's someone to talk to. And if you really don't, I'm here to talk to. If y'all need any advice, comment below. If you need, if there's like things that's reasonable that I can help you with, comment below. I'm here for you. Thank you, my friend. May the power of 